going everyone? This is Jacob from Eastgate Support. Today I'm doing an unboxing and this unboxing is to do with my hub motors. I don't like to now do hub motor videos um, basically because I don't feel this channel is the place for it. The reason for that is I want to be impartial. I want to be impartial to the fact I can give you advice without you thinking I'm biased. Now this here is the EMF hub motor box. This is how it will come when you receive it. We're going to start off by opening this up. Now, there's also going to be an instruction book in here, which I don't currently have with me, but we've got nice covered foam on the top layer to help with protective aspects of this package. Now, down the bottom here, We've got a set of trucks. Now, these are these are 180 mil um, trucks with 83 mil wheels with a 56 contact path. This wheel is exclusive to EMF. Nobody else has this wheel. Now, the urethane probably isn't the best quality urethane in the world, but we've got the ABEC 11 core clone in there and then we've got a very um, nice flat surface with that contact path um, this wheel here has been made to match the hub motors now this next one is the same type of truck but it's 150 mil now what this does is it provides an offset for the motor but when the two hangers are put together, they're virtually the same. The reason why I've done this is because nobody wants two trucks that are different. It looks like an ordinary truck with black wheels. We flip it to the side and you can see it's a motor. We can spin it, free spin it. We've got really low resistance on this motor, which means it's going to have a really nice feel when you're not actually using it as an electric skateboard, which is one of the things that I work towards. This is gonna feel even smoother than a normal Outrunner motor. What I'm gonna do quickly is actually show you guys how to assemble this and take it apart. It's gonna come like this in the box, so you're not gonna to have to do it, but I recommend pulling it apart, getting to know your system and also providing any Loctite or anything that you feel is necessary. So start off by making sure that your um, kingpin nut is as tight as you are comfortable riding with. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the motors so then you know how to put it back together. If you look just in here, there is an M3 grub screw you're going to need a small allen key piece and basically just put it in that hole so I've loosened this one off now we're going to take a 6mm hex wrench and place it into the nut on the end now if you haven't used any Loctite or there's no Loctite in it it shouldn't be that hard to get it undone it's just a case of unscrewing it. Now, be careful, this is an aluminium nut and it's only there to stop sideways force of that motor. You hear that pop? That's because it's a really nice fit in there. Now, it's just a case of pulling that off and it, it's in there quite nice. Now, I'm just coming up real close. You can see on here, there's a little hole there. And on the other side, there's a hole. That is for securing and making sure that the motor does not undo. So now that we've got the motor off, this is what the motor looks like. You got your phase wires coming out the end. You got your cap on here and a hole for where your nut goes. On the end of this, there's two grub screws that can be removed. So if you plan to use this with a different 
skateboard um, axle and they don't have the screws, you can use, remove these. So they're not necessary, but I'd recommend using some red Loctite then. We've got the, the hub motor and we're going to put it back on so that I can demonstrate the process of it. It's the same as removing it, but let's do that right now. So we're gonna get the face wires and we really want them to be downward facing underneath the hanger. So we're gonna slide this hub motor on and it's not gonna go quite on until we get the, the holes aligned correctly. Now when they are just should just be able to give it a little bit of a bash, um, just tapping lightly until it inserts into those holes to stop rotation on that shaft. Now we're going to get the nut. We're going to use the six inch hex wrench again. And depending on the weather, this might go in really easily like that, but you might need a little bit of a turn. It should be a really nice fit in there. We're going to push it all the way down and now it's on the shaft. We're just going to continue by tightening it. Now with those grub screws that are there to stop rotation, you don't particularly need Loctite. If you're going to be using Loctite, I would recommend blue Loctite. And we're just going to do this hand tight, not any further than that, not putting a lot of pressure on there because we don't want to de-thread the, the thread on that nut. And now that motor's on there and we get a really nice spin and that's all that we need to do. Now that we've put it all back together, we've got our hub motors ready to put onto a deck and ride. It's the same for base plate holes and then we're good to go. Thanks for watching guys and remember to subscribe and like my Facebook page, eSkate Support and comment anything that you want to suggest to me for new videos. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching.